are so close to being able to rent out our off-grid tiny house in the high desert of New Mexico, but there are a few projects that we need to get done first. Let's get to it. <laughs> I have a wacky idea. I have been researching online for months, trying to figure out what I should do with this bathroom and closet area. I think I'm onto something. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot. It, I think it is the ultimate tiny house hack if it does work, because we're gonna use one door for two openings. Do you think it'll work? 50-50. <laughs> 20, 20, 80. 20, 80. <laughs> There is a chance that we may just end up with a bunch of curtains here, but I'm ready to give this a shot. So the problem is we really didn't think through the doors before we built the closet and the bathroom. We were kind of considering things, but honestly, this is a bit of an afterthought and we've just been pushing it off for months and months and months. And we really just have to get something in here to cover it up because nobody wants to look at an inverter or you when you're sitting on the toilet. So today is the day, and that's all I have to say. You're a poet and you didn't even know. <laughs> The biggest reason why this has been an afterthought and getting kicked down the uh, down the road is the strange width that we're working with here. It is 23 and 3 quarter inches rough opening without this wall area from stud to stud. We have a 24 inch door, so we're gonna have to cut it down a bit. I did put in this door, it was pre-hung. Uh, I did have to cut down the bottom several inches to make it fit in here, but this has worked fine. I really like the look, so I'd like to continue that look over here, but we don't have space for two solid core doors here. So we're gonna try to use one and have it swing both directions and latch both directions. Nate doesn't know it yet, but his main role in this is helping me to cut down all of the uh, strips we have here in order to expose the 2 by 4 behind it. So that we can get a flush surface? Is that the plan? Yes. And we'll need to do that on both sides, down there with the half inch too. Temp wall. That was a smart afterthought. Putting off securing the wall into place has really helped us out many times. All right, now I just gotta get this bit off. Can you help me? Basically, I'm just trying to get a level flat surface here that I can mount some basic door hinges to. And if it's level, my hope is that it should swing properly. Three quarters, 39 and a half. Nothing, nothing is level in this house. The actual house is just like slightly off level, so you can't really use a level to determine what's level. So who's going to be looking? You have to be standing in the closet to be able to see through. Hmm. <laughs> I'll take it. I know it's the sign of a poor door hanging when it comes open on its own, but I think we're okay with that.
bad for a first try. I think it's gonna work great. Yeah. Gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> We were having issues with these lights just like not turning on and off. Yeah, well, you know, I was trying to avoid having to put a switch in the wall because I thought there wasn't space. So we just got these like, what are they? Remote Remote lights? controlled ones. Um, they, were, they were really cool, but they, they just, they all turn off and on at different times. And like, you can change the color right from the remote, but some of them don't don't catch yeah. so then they end up different colors and then you have to like turn the breaker off and back on so i just decided to get some regular lights and put a regular switch because there's a space right there in the wall that i didn't even think about before with a dimmer. Well, here's another good example of ridiculously unpredictable weather. The average high for this time of year is over 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're getting a snowstorm out of nowhere. I looked at the forecast this morning, this morning, and it said 60 degrees was the high today, and that the sun was going to come out in the afternoon, we might get a little bit of rain in the morning. We do fortunately have the propane heater working in the tiny house though, so I'll just hang out in here for the day and try to stay warm. Kind of dusty. So over the past week or so, and basically since we got back out here, we've made quite a bit of progress with the tiny house. We're basically 100% done at this point. So part of the big news that we mentioned in the title of this video is that it is officially available for rent. We will put a link in the description below so you guys can check that out. Here's our list of all the things that we made when we first got back out here. Should we start crossing them off? Yeah. I think we've got done most of those things now. All right, let's go for it. Do the honors. Thou, heater, thou, electrical. A lot of folks ask what thou meant, T-H-O-W. It's just an acronym for tiny house on wheels. Thou water pump. Done. Thou skirting. Thank you to our neighbor Ross who helped us out a lot with that. Looks amazing out there. He did a great job. Rodent war, check. That's going to be in a future video coming up very soon, but we've been making some big progress with the rodent stuff out here for sure. 
Cabin toilet vent, not check. <laughs> Cabin solar system, check. Turns out I just didn't turn it on all the way. <laughs> all done, that's good to go. Clean up junk around the property, done. We have not waterproofed the shed yet, and we have stacked the wood, but not covered it. We'll consider that done for now. We have also been making quite a few changes to the Element Life website. I've actually recently added a membership page, so you can become an Element Life member, and then you receive a lot of different benefits that we've been working on. We've been putting together a list of some of our favorite simple recipes. A lot of folks ask us about the things that we make, especially when we're on the road traveling in the van or the camper, and then now while we're off grid. We try to make really delicious meals. Shannon is an amazing cook, so it's nice. But we also try to keep in mind the amount of water that we use. We try to limit the amount of dishes we make while still being able to make delicious meals. And uh, that's one of the things that's on there. I also have a map on there with some of my favorite free camping spots from across the country and my favorite stealth camping spots in major cities. So pretty excited to share that. A lot of folks ask me those questions. I get emails about that all the time. Figured that was a good thing to include there. And then I'll also be doing bonus videos as well for folks that are Element Life members. And then in addition to that, if you do decide to come stay with us out here on this property, there will be discounts for staying with us on there as well, exclusively for Element Life members. I think that pretty much sums it up for this one though. Thanks for watching guys. We'll talk to you all in the next one.